As we pick up in Job 3, Satan has attacked and left Job with nothing. Even his health has been destroyed. His ever-encouraging wife has told him, curse God and die, and three of his friends have come to comfort him. Job is inconsolable. His friends sit with him for seven days and nights without a word. After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. Why? Well, the answer in Job's own words is found at the end of the chapter in verses 25 and 26. For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet. I have no rest, for trouble comes. The bulk of this chapter is Job as depression sets in, lamenting over his birth. He says, may the day perish on which I was born. He asked, why did I not die at birth? Why did I not perish when I came from my mother's womb? Then, why is light given to him who is in misery and life to the bitter of soul? Considering what we know about Job's past, he's probably never asked these questions before. He never needed to, but on this day, he does and his friends quietly listen. Job's response reminds me of my response when the roller coaster of life bottoms out and it seems as if it will stay there forever. The negative thoughts ruminate in my head and there's, there's nothing good there. And like Job, I just want it all to end. What do we do when fear comes upon us, when dread produces difficulty, and troubles leave us restless? In those times, we need a different perspective, God's perspective. We need to remember Jesus promised always to be with us. We have a faithful companion that sticks closer than a brother. That God has a plan for us in all things, and his plans are always good for his people and that God wouldn't allow something to come into our lives unless he intended to grow us through it in some way. In times like these, we remember God's faithfulness in the past to give us confidence that he will again come through in the future. And we wait with patient endurance for the Lord to show up and do what only he can do. Let's wait on the Lord today.